Coach, how's the uh, the transition been? How's the first couple of weeks of spring ball been for you? Yeah, uh, um, you know, it, it's, it's been a lot of fun. You know, uh, it, it's a blessing to get the opportunity to to be a part of the Chosen family and, and be able to work with uh, kids of this caliber. So uh, I've been excited about it from a personal standpoint. And as far as our, our football team, uh, um, you know, we're installing a new offensive system. I, I feel like... Uh, Number one, that they've showed great aptitude and their ability to pick up the process, and we would expect nothing, you know, anything any different because of the type of young men that we have in our program. Um, um, they were they were excited, had a great first week, you know, uh, you know, came back this week after spring break, you know, every, you know, it kind of takes a couple of days sometimes to get back in rhythm a little bit, and you know, that was a great teaching moment, and that that you know, uh, um, we've got to be able to handle those, those times. That's what the great teams do, you know, when we have a week off. Um, you got to you got to do some things. You got to put the work in. So when we do come back, we, we don't we don't miss a step. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, I, I wouldn't it would be safe to say it wasn't as sharp as we would have liked it to be coming back on in, in week two. But it was a great teaching opportunity. Seemed like Marquis Step had a pretty good day today. Uh, had, had a lot of opportunities today. What have you seen yeah, out of him? Him and Quincy got a chance, and, and, and Chris Edmondson got a chance to get a lot of carries today. Uh, you know, we were, we were a little bit light in, in, in the backfield today, so it was good to get the, you know, to get it on tape and be able to get in this afternoon and get it evaluated. But uh, I've liked the, the backs as a whole. They're just 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 their you know their attitude and, and the way that they go about their business. So, uh, like our room and, and um, you know look forward to working with them. With you being a guy that's been in the air raid before, uh, this this kind of a spread offense. How much are you teaching as well? Since Graham's really the only other guy that that has been in that system well, previously. It's 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 uh, you know it's it, it's it's been nice for me not to learn a new system, but um, you know, I've I've enjoyed working with everyone on offense staff, and even our defensive staff. We, we've got great coaches, and I'm learning something. I'm learning every single day, and but I think it, it you know it can be, and it has been a benefit to. To, you know, he's up there calling plays, or I'm down here, or even in the office to come running here. Well, what exactly are we thinking in this situation and that situation? So, um, I think it's a benefit. And, uh, I think uh, you know, I've enjoyed working with Coach, and I just feel honored to have a chance to, you know, not first be with guys with the caliber of, of Coach Kingsbury, and then, you know, then have opportunity to, to work with Coach Harrell. Do you feel like when he goes up there that you're the guy that has to kind of relay the messages or you know put a guy in the right spot we'll, type of thing? We'll, we'll do it together. Gotcha. We'll, we'll do it together, and we're all communicating together. I mean, Tim Drevno's been doing this a long time. It doesn't it doesn't, he, it doesn't get as good as that in, as far as offensive line play goes. You know, so uh, we'll lean a lot on, on him and protection and run game scheme to do that nature. But uh, the ability to communicate some of some of the thought processes probably uh, you know, probably will be a little bit beneficial. When you're looking at this running back group, what kind of stands out about the guys that you do have right now? Well, they're, you know, they're they're, they're big kids, athletic kids, strong kids. Uh, um, you know, they're all over 222, 25, and and really, you know, I was, you know, that's bigger than any back that I've really had the opportunity right. to coach in the system. Uh, so really didn't know how that would translate. And what I was shocked was how agile they are. You know, because you're just sitting there in the meeting room or you're hanging around in the waiting room. I'm going, gosh, dang it, these are some big old boys. What, are they going to be able to catch the ball in the backfield and do the things that we need? And I get out here day one, I'm like, holy smoke, they could be a problem in space. So uh, I've been very impressed with uh, uh, their skill sets. And, you know, now uh, it's on them, and I've challenged them to, to, to you know, not, not rest on the moles or go out. And, and, and the things that, that, that this offense is going to present, the opportunities and, and, and pass catching and opportunities and pass protections, uh, you know, make it important to you. You know, and what some people seem to think that might be a, make, a weakness, even me coming in, make it your greatest strength. Are there certain things, aspects that you have to focus on a little bit more now with this offense? I mean, the, the pass catching and stuff. I mean, these guys have done that before, no, but they're, 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 I mean, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised gotcha. at, at their skill set and how quickly they picked it up. So, um, really, right now, it's just fine tuning and everything that we do, they've done. Mm-hmm. And just trying to them remembering the verbiage and things of that nature, and then some of those little nuance, nuances and subtleties um, that we ask them to do, because where they might have done it in special situations, or maybe even a Stephen Carter in his freshman year, may have had packages in for him out of the yeah. out of the backfield and that. No, that's every down. It's every down. It's it's if we're, we're we're running 85 snaps a game, and you know the running back. There will be a day where a running back uh, uh, in the very near future here catches 70, 80 balls. You know that's just part of what we do. So.